hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking to you guys about my faux locks that i did by myself me and my sister did this hairstyle for me together and so i just wanted to come talk to you guys real quick about it I'm sorry guys I have not been feeling well and unfortunately in my apartment the air conditioning stopped working out of nowhere I have no idea how that happened so right now I am freezing so I couldn't do like anything really big on my makeup I just did like a really natural look and uh I'm freezing that's why I'm talking really fast the style of hair that I have in is faux locks and I made and I did them with Marley hair this is the hair that I used, it's called Marley Braid and I used the color one and I got this from like my local beauty supply for $5 and I used I think at least 13 packs in all. I used at least 13 packs in all and it's actually not that heavy. Um, I really like them. For a protective style they last really really long and I noticed that my hair has been growing out as you can see and so I really really like them for that. For the cons I would say they kind of snag on fabric so I ruined one of my favorite sweaters because I wore the sweater and I wore this hair and it was just snagging on the fabric and then like I noticed like a lot of jackets that have like um like maybe wool on the inside like you know sweaters and sweatshirts how it has like that fabric on the inside it snags on that so it would end up showing up on the hair and so if you look very closely you'll see like red thread and green thread and blue thread from all the different <laughs> sweaters and stuff that I've worn which is very very annoying to pick out because I'll be in class and you'll literally see me like this just pull my hair so as far as protective styling they are a great protective style I'm just not one to keep in hair for a long time I think I've had the, these locks for about four weeks now probably at most I don't really remember when I did it and it took me about um three it's okay so we started it off on a Saturday morning and we could have finished it on Sunday but I was really tired so it literally took me that whole entire week to finish and I finished on Thursday so I started it on Saturday morning and I finished it on Thursday. So that's how long it took me. And it was only like this front section that was left during the week. It's just I was super lazy and I just didn't want to do it. And I had classes and I had practice and I had like a lot of things to do. Actually, I haven't had them in for, I've had them in for three weeks. So yeah, my sister helped me do it. So how we did it was I did the braids so I could, so I could like grab my scalp. And then she started doing the wrapping and then I joined her in the wrapping and then we all ended the wrapping together. There's nothing really to say about it. It's just a really great protective style and I, I really like it, but it does make my scalp itch so much. Like I've never had so much itching before and I have no idea how it started, but my scalp itches so freaking much. Like it's annoying. And so that's why I'm actually about to take them out because I just, I can't deal with the itching. Like for me, when my hair starts itching, I just want to like tear it out and just take it out because it's just so annoying and I don't like washing my hair with like braids in them when it comes to yarn locks versus Marley locks um I would I kind of like them both equally I like this one more because it looks more natural but my problem with it is that it snags on everything and it's it destroys my my clothes as for that one the older the older you the more you wear it and the older it gets the more natural it looks especially because it's not as shiny as you can see like these locks are kind of shiny and yarn doesn't do that so it actually ends up looking like your real hair like after a while so I really like that about the yarn locks as well oh and the jewelry I have on my hair I have two different types of hardware in my hair I have these short ones and I have these long ones I got those at my beauty supply store for a dollar um a dollar each for a pack so it was 12 little hardware things in a pack and I got like four of them and they were like a dollar each they usually have them well in all the beauty supplies I've been to they usually have them near the like extension section like you know bulk hair extension section so that you know you can find them easily and you'll have to look for them everywhere in terms of taking care of the hair there's nothing really to take care of when I take a shower I always like put like a plastic bag over my head and I take a shower and then when I'm done I take it off and yeah that's really it I try to oil my scalp but too much oiling tends to make my scalp itch which I really really hate so yeah I oil my scalp I have this little spray thing that I will leave down in the description bar below I did talk about it in one of my previous videos 
my tips for first timers when it's like their first time getting braids I talked about it in that video and I'll leave that in the description bar down below so you guys can check that out as well that has like all that that has like all the details on how I take care of my hair while I have it in braids and locks and whatnot um, in terms of styling I don't do any styles with this hair like I'm just so busy this semester it's crazy so the only like this is my first time actually wearing it down and only because it's a video whenever I want to style my hair I usually just take these front sections like this and I tie it around like that and voila I'm done that's that's the only hairstyle I've rocked and I've rocked like a top a top bun right there and I've rocked the big bun okay I've done three hairstyles they aren't that heavy and I really like it it's just that it is snagging everywhere like if you were to look down at the end of my locks right now all you would see is red now, I'm not sure you can see that in this video but it's just red sprinkled everywhere it's so annoying this is part of a three-part video I'm going to show you guys how to put in locks and how to take out locks and then this is the video on like my little review of Marley locks in general and whether or not you should get it I really recommend if you want to do it I recommend you get it just because it looks a lot natural but if you're gonna be wearing like wool sweaters and whatnot it you should probably put it up in a bun or something so it doesn't rub against your clothes and ruin your clothes and then get like thread and stuff in your hair because that is not a good look I can't wear my sweater anymore and I'm really really sad about that would I do these again Definitely I would as long as I wouldn't have to pay for it So I'd probably get my sister to do it. You know what guys? I think that is it for this video If you have any questions comments or concerns make sure you leave them down in the comment section below And I'll be sure to look at everything and answer any questions that you have Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't for better videos more videos I'm just going whoo, All over the place with these videos. Okay, so make sure you leave me comments on what you want from my channel Yeah, so make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and Yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Let's go out and just dance. One night, be mine. To the sun come up, don't stop. Be mine, one night.